Oh man. Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to Ask That Podcast here on YouTube. Uh, some more toys. Been on a toy kick recently. I had, as part of my Christmas, like I, I always end up getting a pile of gift cards. Since gift cards have become a thing, everybody, the thing is, what I'm into, people know, okay, well he's in the comics, he's in the wrestling, he's in the horror movies, you know. Okay, cool. But then, once they see my collection, like, ooh, how do I buy something for him that he'll enjoy that he doesn't already own? So it's like, oh, we'll just give him a gift card. So what I got here is two figures, one from a Batman line, run from just like a general, I guess general, like, it looks like a super frenzy kind of line. Cause, I mean, there's the Hall of Justice, there's the Legion of Doom's headquarters. You see, it says Shazam. This one don't have the name on it. I'll say that one for a minute. And these are from Spin Master. I have, that's the first time I bought any of these. Is what opened up on the back. No. So it's, it's cut there. Okay. And then, oh, look. There's Shazam and Wonder Woman there. Got like a sham locker. Let's see what I got. Oh, I got a, I got a, uh, a kryptonite Billy Batson, maybe? Okay, that's kind of cool. Let's see. Come on, something cool. I got a, uh, ooh, a lightning bolt. Okay. Come on, something cool. And I got a, Bent girder. Okay. I ain't got Ziplocs. Oh, okay. They did a cloth cape. Uh, a vinyl cape. But that's cool. Took articulation. I love Shazam. I know people at my age really love the fuck out of Shazam or, you know, I knew him fucking Captain Marvel. And I think a lot's because of that, you know, that, what was it? Who did that cartoon? Was it Filmation? No. Was it Filmation? The Shazam cartoon? Man, like Shazam was kind of big when I was a kid. Let's check our articulation. So we got head joint, it's bald. Shoulders are ball joints. Okay, the elbows are too. Nothing at the wrist. Nothing at the waist. The hips, the knees. That's a, that's a cool looking Shazam figure. It looks a lot like the dude from the movie, but I can deal with that. I guess we just like put this in the name maybe. I mean, this will tell us. What mission will you get? Oh, there's different? Oh, okay. So, like, well, it looks like Shazam always gets the same. same. Huh. I have no idea. Hall of Justice, Metropolis, Legion of Doom, Raid, and Watchtower Invasion. So, I guess this just goes. Cool of light. I mean, I don't remember him ever having. Okay. Uh, yeah. That'll get put to the side. That won't be used. I don't like that. Where'd the girder go? How the fuck did you put this in his hand? That's. That sucks. And the figure's cool. And these were not expensive. These were fairly cheap. That's why I grabbed two, because these are the only two that caught my eye. I do like the little locker thing. Now, this one, now I have a Shazam figure. i got Imagine X, and I think I've got an older Shazam figure. This one, I don't have any of this characters. It's Deathstroke Determinator, and I own now, what, four copies of his first appearance? Like, I had one as a kid, like when it came out, so what's that, 80, 80 whatever. And that one's beat the hell up, and it's bad and boarded, put up in a long box, and then just, like, Last year, the year before, I'm not exactly sure when it might have been before then, a friend of mine had a big box of comics for sale at like a thrift and just bought me the whole box and there was two more copies. And they're big. And they're, they'd be like a five. And if you're using CGC, yeah, five. They're probably fives. Fours or fives. Which I don't care. But I love the character. And for all you uh, big, big Deadpool fans, this is what Riley Fell was ripping off. Deathstroke came long before him and me the better character. Okay. I'm going to open these up from the back. This one shows. Oh. Well. Oh. Whoa. That just flew everywhere. Oh, we got a gun. That's cool. Okay, oh, shit. It's got a lot of, got kind of rubbery swords, but it's Deathstroke, so you need swords. 
Got another gun. It's gonna be in this one. Nothing. The swords are probably in there. So I don't know when this is going up. This was these were bought in early January 2020, 2022. Oh, shit, they have more. Nah, yeah, he's got. Oh, that is same articulation as the last one, but it's fucking desperate. Does he have? Oh man, he don't have a sword. He can't put the swords on his back. Did they go in his hands? Good. Looks like it. Yeah. And I like. I got a um. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go grab that real quick. I got another DC figure that this kind of these this line kind of reminds me of. Give me a second. Sorry, I don't know if y'all can hear me. That took me a second to find it, but what I'm talking about is this is the old Justice League Unlimited question figure. Let's see. They're comparable height, so they'll look good on the shelves next to each other. Because I'd say question would be smaller than Shazam. Guns, man. This is this one, that Deathstroke is definitely really cool. Shazam, the accessories just, I mean, the Kryptonite Billy Batson's kind of cool. I don't think it's supposed to be Kryptonite, you know what I mean. Well, at least the figure is cool. Deathstroke's like, eh, yeah, the swords. Chop, 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 chop. Hell yeah. And for, uh, did I say it earlier? First Prince of Deathstroke would be New Teen Titans, issue, Volume 1, Issue 2. He first appeared there. Great comic. It's a blast. I mean, it's a George Perez, Marvel Wolfman. Uh, I'm not sure at the time if Perez had somebody helping him with the art. I know a little ways later into the run, most of the issues like Perez was doing like breakdowns, somebody's doing the finishes. And I heard the news book first recently, that kind of sucks. Because he's one I've always wanted to meet, just I've never, I can't say I've never been to a colony exactly, because I have, but the one time it was, you know, do I wait in line forever to do all this, to do a bunch of shopping, or do I, you know, instead of not in a huge ass line, I only wait about 20 minutes to get to meet Jack Kirby. And it's like, oh well. The time frame, you're thinking, oh, out of all these guys here, Kirby's probably going to be the next one to pass, and I was right, it was... I want to say it was three years before he died. And it was a blast. You have to meet Jack Kirby. Cool. Yeah, okay, this is Jack Kirby. But I'm out, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that. Remember, if you did, give me that thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe, all the other bullshit. Talk to everybody later. Bye-bye.